Hi, I'm Georgina from the Millside. Uh, just wanted to explain and show you the changes that we've made due to coronavirus and put your minds at rest that it's still the Millside but with a few tweaks and twists. Follow me and I'll show you through. We've introduced a serving station here. The terrace used to be really open and free for people to walk on in. And now we feel that it's best for customers to have that privacy inside and to not have um, people wandering around freely. Um, so you'll be greeted here at the service station. Um, somebody will take you directly to your table. We ask you to sanitize on entry um, and just be wary of other customers and where they're sat and sort of being respectful of the one-way system. Um, so when you come in, we enter through the bistro. Um, we've marked a one-way system. We've separated out the tables and used other tables that aren't in use as barriers, um, purely so that um, you have that separation between others. Um, some of the tables that used to be a table of four are now just a table of two, so a lot of our capacity has dropped and, and changed, but um, hopefully with still a lovely atmosphere and um, uh, come on through to the restaurant, I'll, I'll show you on this side. Lots of um, little um, sanitizing stations dotted around everywhere, um, automated and touch free so that we don't have to touch any pumps but we still give it a good sanitize. While I'm here I'll show you our new salt and peppers. They're not as pretty as our oyster shells used to be that we had the Cornish sea salt in um, but they are sanitizable and only available on request so we will ask you if you'd like salt and pepper um, and then we'll bring it over to the table for you. One thing that's just a little bit of a shame for the aesthetic look is that tables aren't prettily set anymore. They're all clear and free of glasses and cutlery um, purely because we don't want anyone sort of touching anything or it lingering around um, in the air before you've sat down. So once you've sat, we'll give you um, a copy of the menu and a copy of the wine list, which are printed every day. Um, they're printed on 100% recycled paper. Once you've had a look at it, we take it away and it goes into this basket and straight in the recycling bin um, so that nobody else shares your menu. Our staff have their own individual hand sanitizers and on their aprons, they've got little sanitizing um, bottles which they use regularly. Um, we um, have separated out a lot of the tables. We've measured them with tape measures so that you've all got a bit more room um, and obviously um, tried to sort of make it still feel as comfortable as possible but with a little bit more space for everyone. Uh, the other thing that we've introduced is more of a staggered booking system. So before where we would book in say five tables at seven o'clock we're only doing two tables every 15 minutes. So one table on this side in the restaurant and one table in the bistro. Um, it may feel a little bit quieter, but it's just to give our um, waitresses uh, more of a chance to serve the tables um, individually. And obviously now that we have to um, seat and then do the setting of the table afterwards, it doesn't rush anything. You still have a nice enjoyable experience. Um, and then it also allows people to sit down without walking through certain areas together. Um, our staff have all been asked to do a, a refresh of a level two hygiene, um, which they did during lockdown so that they were refreshed and ready with health and safety and um, cleaning procedures. Um, we've got cleaning checklists that are far more regular. so. Um, the loos are checked every five minutes. Um, the, the staff come in in their home clothes. They are then asked to change. Um, we have a box for each member of staff. They change into their uniform, box up their clothes, and at the end of their shift, they get unchanged and put their home clothes back on. We do the laundry in-house so that nothing contaminated leaves the building. Um, sadly, obviously having taken a few of the tables out, we can't sort of welcome as many people as we used to be able to and want to, um, purely for everyone's safety. However, 
The majority of our menu we now do as a takeaway option. So um, our fruit de mer platter, which has become so popular during lockdown, we've continued now, um, which um, I think people enjoy taking to the beach or taking home. A lot of the B&Bs have been so welcoming with things like the breakfast room. They um, are allowing uh, guests to now eat within the breakfast room um, during an allocated slot. So that's also been really popular. I think a lot of people aren't quite comfortable yet eating out. So it's a slow transition um, to when you feel ready and things feel a little bit more comfortable. It's been really lovely welcoming you and showing you around. I hope it's made everyone feel a bit more comfortable. But ultimately, if we can't host you and don't have a table available, don't forget we've got takeaway and we look forward to seeing you again soon.